Hello everyone, and welcome back for the next episode in our Doom playthrough. Well, we just got done riding a tram to a whole different section on Mars, and it sounds like we're gonna get to meet Hayden face to face. I'm curious to see how tall he is in relation to me, because when you compare him to Olivia, he like towers over her. If by some chance it's your first time finding the channel, welcome, hope you have a fantastic time. And if you do have an awesome time, it sure would help me out if you think about hitting that subscribe button. All right, I don't wanna wait any longer. Let's get the carnage going in full steam and see what all we're gonna encounter and see if we can just rip it right apart <laughs> okay oh welcome back everybody guess what it's friday you know what friday means i get the game a while let me tell you okay so we got some stuff to read here but first i've had a few of you quite a few of you say check out the micro missiles on this thing so that's what we're gonna do and I got one point available at the moment, so let's see what we want to boost right away. Reduces the ammo cost, that might be a good idea. Uh, greatly improves reload time. Instantly activate the micro missile rack when it is ready to fire. I mean, I guess I haven't used it, so I don't know which one of those is gonna be like the See, 143. Okay, so it's costing me three per at the moment. Hmm. Okay, that's, uh... That's helpful. Okay, reduce the ammo cost. Three's not horrible. Improve the reload time. Instantly activate when it is ready to fire. I'm gonna guess that this one is that little that 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 we see the raising up. Let's start with this one. Because the missiles are what I've been hearing from you guys is what's a lot of fun. So I wanna make sure I can use the missiles. So we're gonna go with that one. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, we got a log here. I don't think I got to read this one yet. I think I said I was gonna hold off until the start of the next one. Welcome to your three advocates. You have elevated yourself to the next level of thinking. Your previous notions have been cleansed by science and you see things now as they truly are. The true power of the Argent Energy under the stewardship of the UAC will drive us into the next age of mankind. No more secrets, no more hiding. Your journey towards the final tier begins now. I wondered if there'd be something above a tier three. Our understanding of the pan-dimensional existence grows each day. As we begin to realize the true power that flows from hell, we are changing into something much greater than we ever thought possible. <laughs> just sounds so weird to me. Your life as a tier three advocate is more than just the work you perform. Spiritual understanding of who we are and what we are meant to become grows with each artifact you catalog each weapon you prototype, and each heretic you convert. The fear of hell is seen for what it really is. False emotions appearing real. Hey, I've heard that acronym before. You have opened your mind. <laughs> well, I mean, it's very motivational, isn't it? Oh, boy. Okay, was there anything else in this area that I... I don't think I really did much once I got in here, did I? Oh yeah, I activated this, which opened that over there, but I wanted to go back and see if that map, that door with the map also opened. It's here. Ah, nope. Hmm. Must be another lockdown somewhere else. Okay. Oh. Out of my way. Okay, only this door opened up, right? Now let's try this sucker out. Ooh. Ooh. Man, that does work really well. Ooh. Yeah. How do you like fireballs being thrown at you? Huh? Pick those up. Thank you. I hear them. Ooh. That's where they are. Oh, you chump. You chump. Oh. The missiles are killing them too fast. Oh. 
Something's over here. Uh. Oh! <laughs> ba boom! You guys are right. That is very satisfying. Oh! Got it. Oh, this time I'm gonna grab that thing and not miss it for a change. Ba boom! Okay, what do I have as my secondary? Oh yeah. Yeah, we're gonna run with this combo here for a minute. Oh, there's a bit more. Okay, that's maxed out. Was there anything else up here? I kind of jumped over the ledge. I did not scope out my environment like I normally like to do. He said he's on the second floor. Can I go to him right now and then deal with that here in a minute? Oh, it looks like it. Is he in there? Area locked down. Oh, I must need to clear all the demons first. My goodness, this place is an absolute disaster, isn't it? Bodies and stuff everywhere. I'm glad I've maxed out my ammo capacity. Now that I'm using these missiles. Whoa, what did I just do there? Hold on a second. Whoa. I don't know what happened there. I don't know if that was a glitch or something, but I like boosted super fast really far all of a sudden just trying to jump over that ledge. Do not shoot. Too late. All right. Let's do it. Oh, oh, oh dude, you're in my way. <laughs> okay. I don't know how many missiles this guy takes. Oh, a lot of a lot of missiles apparently. Oh, got you! Thank goodness. Whoa. Ooh, I had a couple close calls there. Man, this guy takes a ton of missiles. There he goes. There we got it. All right, see you, buddy. Baby. <laughs> you blinking yet? Oh, he got one shot around the corner. Oh! I must have backed into something. Or maybe there's one of those little little guys in the back. I gotta say, I'm not too impressed with the damage output at the moment. Unless I was just doing something wrong there. Those big guys were taking a ton of missiles. Although, maybe I should just switch to the other gun when addressing. Maybe maybe this is better for like crowd control type situations. Because it does do a good job on these guys. Ugh. Gotcha. Oh, I saw you go up there. <laughs> it, tore, it tears them up real fast. Okay, that one's maxed out. Whoop! Uh. Whoop! Ooh! Sucks to be you and you. When it works, it works really well. All right, let's try this again. There we go. All right, let's grab this. I don't know which one this is. Oh boy. Whoop. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Y'all saw that, right? Just staring the big guys up. Ooh. Oh. Oh, this is so brutal. Ooh. Come here. Show you something. Uh. Oh, you, you're lucky you missed the uh, the real action. Oh. Ooh. He's running back and forth trying to find me. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, eat that, sucker. Oh. 
took you out. There goes you. Oh, I see a summoner. Oh, not what I was looking for. I switched my quick switch. Not what I was shooting for on that either. Got him! Oh! Oh, another big guy! I need to get that summoner. Or I'm gonna regret it. Oh, right in front of me. Oh! Oh! Go down! There we go. I was close. Where'd you go? Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. Come here. Not what I was aiming for. Nice try. <laughs> that did it. Ooh, this is insane. <laughs> just so never gets old. It's just amazing. All right, my turn to shoot missiles at you. Boom, 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 boom. There it goes. Anybody else? I think I see somebody still. Oh, life is low. Thank you. Uh, was it this? There we are. Demonic presence eliminated. Lockdown disengaged. That was so crazy. <laughs> oh, this game is just... Gets the heart rate going. I almost feel like this is good exercise, man. I get done with this, I'm like covered in sweat. I feel like I've been at the gym. <laughs> oh. Alright, trying to see if there's any other loot to be had. Yeah, I was like chasing that summoner around. I was like, ooh, I wonder if I can just run right through it with a chainsaw. That would be fun. Okay, can we get in this door now? Oh, he trapped us. Do not be alarmed by the system update. It is a prototype of our interdimensional tether. A means for me to pull you back from hell. I'm sorry for the jolt, but I didn't think you'd allow its installation voluntarily. I'm Dr. Samuel Hayden. I have supplies in my office. This way, please. How much you want to bet there's extra software abilities other than just pulling me back from hell? Oh, look at this. Like, everything's kind of trippy. Oh, wow. Oh, let's hit this. Oh, I can't even hit that. Welcome, Dr. Hayden. Take whatever supplies you need. Well, thank you. Why wow, he's got like all kinds of like artifacts and stuff here. He's got a pretty good view too. The destruction of the Argent Tower is devastating. But I am committed to helping you close the portal. All of our work and understanding of their world is derived from the inscriptions on a large stone artifact we pulled from hell in the earliest days of the program. We call it the Helix Stone. It is our most closely guarded asset. Olivia was obsessed with it. From it, we learned how to manipulate Hell's energy, bend it to our will, take mm. advantage of their resources. It also led us to you. The Helix Stone showed us how to harness the power of the well. I believe it will show you how to shut it down. For years, Olivia has kept the Helix in her private office in the Lazarus Labs which is only accessible through a secure elevator from the advanced research complex across the chasm. Your affinity for guns is apparent. 
I'm <laughs> confident you'll find something useful there as well. Oh, really? The service elevator is at the end of the hall. I figured I had all the weapons I was going to get. I didn't see any more spots in my... my little wheel. Okay, I think I've picked up all the stuff. Wonder, can I... No, I can't shoot. I was like, I was going to take a shot at Samuel, just see what would happen. Yo, check out some of these artifacts and stuff he's got in here. He's seriously been, like, collecting. Like, so there's the Praetor suit. Ancient sent. Does that say Sentinels? I think that's what it says. That's wild. He does seem to be pretty smart, don't he? And he's even got this thing here. We found that as one of our entries. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm shut out, shut out. Oh. I was like, I wonder if I could do anything to like his little office space here. Mess it up in some fashion. Can I get the... Oh, I thought I could activate the balls, maybe. Get them bouncing back and forth. Vega simulation in progress. Compiling combat scenarios. Hope that doesn't come back to bite me in some fashion. Can I use this now? Thank you. All right, that's full. All right, there's the elevator. Let's check real quick. I wonder, I don't feel like we've gone through. Oh, you know what? I wanna go check to see. Oh, I can't get out. Oh, I was gonna see if I can get to that map now. Okay, I guess we gotta go this way. Maybe there's another way to get back over there. I kind of think so. If the uh, if that's the only map entry, or the place to download the whole map, and I can't get it, that's gonna kind of stink. Ooh, another one on Samuel here. Number three. After his rebirth, Samuel was appointed as project director of the Argent facility. It was deemed too bizarre to have the world's first cyborg leading the most powerful corporation in the solar system. Mechanoid Samuel Hayden proved to be an even more impressive figure than his mortal self. Under his leadership, Argent technology exploded. The work achieved at the Argent facility destroyed the boundaries of our understanding of physics. Oh yeah, because he was talking about his, his brain and processing and thinking would be like supercharged. I think that's how they put it. As Samuel himself said, we rewrote the book and called it Argent. After the unveiling of the global energy distribution matrix, it was clear who was really in control of the UAC. Samuel Hayden's triumphant return to power was complete. In a stunning display of bravado and conceit, when the GEDM was finally switched on, Samuel Hayden was live streamed from in front of the Argent Tower, pulling a massive 12 foot power lever to dispatch the first Argent package to Earth. Oh! This sent a clear message to the people of the known solar system. There is only one man that can turn on the power. A 12 foot power lever? So he made it like a massive thing that a normal human would not be able to do, only him? That was clever. Yeah, I really got a feeling that that little uh, thing he injected us with is probably containing more than what he let on. If I had to guess, whoop. Look at you rolling that out there. Ooh. <laughs> Actually, I need to be. Boop. I'm doing this so I can get practice. Practice with it. Ooh, there's more drums over here. Can I fire this right at that? All right, here it comes. Come on. You're getting there. <laughs> Use explosive barrels to kill a hundred enemies achievement. That's what I'm talking about. Man, there's barrels all over the place down here. Yep. Wrong way. Okay. Let's make sure there's nothing else. Down oh, we do got... We do got a couple things down here I need to make sure and get. Ah, uh, ha, ha. I think I need three to get the next upgrade I want. 
for that. Double check. Yeah, I need to get three. Oh, there's a... There's a rune, but where's the... Um, I thought I saw the Argent thing. Oh, no, the rune is what we saw. Okay, so I need to go around the other way to get to that. Hmm. Unless... Nope, I can't go through there. There's no lever in here, is there? I saw this and actually thought it was a lever at first. Okay, I'll go ahead and pick this up. I thought about saving that. Maybe come back for it later, but... I don't think I'm going to be backtracking through here. Like I originally thought. Just checking. My goodness. Got a lot going on there, wasn't there? Is it on the other side of this? I bet it's in there. Can't get to it yet. Oh. <laughs> Not quite sure where he popped out of, but all right. Whoop. There we are. There's another one over here. This place is dangerous. Gas everywhere. Boom. That is so much fun. I've done that so many times now, and every time it's still just as much fun. There, right, we can get this. Air locked in. Okay, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that until I've taken care of this thing out here. Right, I'll grab you here in a minute. Oh, yeah. What's this one? Haste. Woo! Dude, you're shooting. You're different. You're a really big guy. Hmm. Uh. Ooh. I want to glory kill you. That's it. I just pulled out a hose. Oh, I was really hoping for something a little more exciting than that. Wow. Got you. I see you guys up there. Uh, boom. Got that one. Wow. Oh. We got another one. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Shoot six missiles as I'm like drifting to the ground. Whoa. Whoop. Missing that landing actually worked out to be pretty good that time. Ooh. Whoop. Oh. Oh, I think he's about to blow up. There he goes. He's gonna blow up now. Ooh, baby. What we got here? Oh, that's not the one I wanted. Let's switch to... Oh, I ain't got hardly any chin. Okay, we'll go this one. Whoops. Pieces. Ooh, ah. <laughs> I'll take that. Oh. <laughs> oh, who else wants some? Another big guy. I wonder, can I use a chainsaw on something that big? I remember there were supposed to be enemies that take five gas or five fuel. Oh, I got the glory kill on the first one, but it was so lame. All I did was pull a hose out. That's pretty lame. Okay. Run around, grab what goodies we got here. That went pretty good. Very well. Did that? Is it just a? Is it a different en enemy type, or is it just got uh, bigger armor? Um.
No, we had read everything that was available for this one, right? Hmm. It won't let me scroll down? Monsters. It looks like I should be able to scroll down. Ooh, if I just push down on the arrow, that works. Here we go. This is a cyber mancubus. The mancubus strain of demon has long been a subject of fascination among Lazarus Project scientists. Eager to understand the biology of these creatures, a team of biogeneticists led by Dr. Pierce herself was formed to research and manipulate the behavior and effect of the creatures. My goodness. Okay, doesn't look like there's anything else there. That was crazy. But we pulled it off. Okay, any secrets in this little area? No, but I definitely want to see if I can find my way into there now. I'm trying to see if there's any kind of a... Oh, maybe if I deactivate the security lockdown, maybe that'll open those doors over there. There we are. Let's see if that did it. Ooh, it's open. That's what I wanted. Oh, but there's... Across here, too. That looks like the direction we have to keep going. So I'll leave that for when we come back. I think over here is the, um, the rune. Oops. Yep. Okay, let's see what we get out of this one. Armed with a heavy assault rifle, eliminate all targets before the timer expires. Movement is only permitted for three seconds following a kill. Move faster for a short time after performing a glory kill. Okay. Blood fueled, this one was called. Okay, I can only move for three seconds after I do a kill. Um. Whoop. Oh, come on, die already. Oh. Got you. There we are. Oh, I see more over there. Oh, I literally just stopped moving. Oh, man. <laughs> Not being able to move against things that just throw fireballs at you? Not fair. I only had 7 out of 15. Alright. Okay, let's try to go after some of the bigger ones. Ugh. Can I get to like a safer spot? Whoa. Got you. There we are. There we are, chump. Take care of you. Oh, yeah. One more. Oh, we got two more here. Yeah. <laughs> I think what got me stuck on the first time is I took out all the little guys real fast and then I had no clue where the guys with the fireballs were and none of them came up to me. Ooh, baby, we got another one. Oh, that's great. I'm going to keep with the ones I got going here at the moment, though. I really like this combination. I, I'll be honest with you guys. I got a feeling after I beat this game there's a really good chance I'm going to play through it again just on my own. What? <gasps> what? Super punch. What? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Was this actually in the Doom games? I don't remember this at all. <laughs> keep going, keep going. I'm assuming there's like a time limit or something. Super Turbo Turkey Puncher 3. 
Look at the little, uh, like, old joystick controller over there on the b right hand side. See ya. Oh. Does it just keep on going? <laughs> I'll go to 3,000 points if it just keeps going at that point. I'll stop, because I'm assuming that's all it's going to keep doing. I'm just curious if there's some kind of an achievement. Oh. You guys have to let me know in the comments if you've seen this before, or is this your first time seeing this? Ooh. Okay, I'll go to 4,000 points. I'm having a little bit of fun here, beating up on the turkeys. I wish there was something more for this, though. Okay, what's the inner button do? Okay, so it's the same as like... Ooh, it... Okay, I'll go to 5,000 points. Oh, there went some kind of a timer. Look, I'm getting more, more points because I'm tapping faster. Look at that. Throw that turkey up. <laughs> that was very random. I didn't expect that at all. Uh, but yeah, what I was going to say is there's like so much stuff here that I would love to come back through and like do some of the stuff that I didn't do before. I'm totally going to probably do that. It'll be it'll be fun to have something to play on my own when I'm not recording. I think it's a good game for it. I've heard from many of you guys that you are so excited to see the Eternal playthrough because it, it's even... Well, I don't want to say it's better, but it's also super fun. Although there have been many that have said they feel like it's even better, but... Oh, I thought there was another one. Okay, I see you. Can I... Will it seek onto you? It sure did. Ba boom Okay, the Argent thing is like below me here. To my left. Wow, we got like static charge and stuff. Okay, let's go across first. Because I know there was an action figure nearby. I don't think I can get to the top of this. No. Uh, I like something loaded. Didn't it? Something maybe dangerous? Oh, that's the platform I gotta try to get into, huh? Oh, what have we here? Can I make that jump? I doubt I can make that jump from down here, can I? Uh, all the way across. Whoa, there it is. I love that I get the chime that I'm near an alert, like when I'm standing right in front of it. It's like, thanks. Appreciate it. Okay. Well, the cool part is since I've already filled up both of these, I get to just start focusing on this one now. Oh, look at it. That even fills up my armor the first time I, I switched to it. Nice. <laughs> Splat. Okay. I need to go... Hmm. I'm kind of nervous about where I can jump to and where I can't. Based upon my car, my my car pouring availability. <laughs> Whoop! Uh. Woo. Okay, I'm going across. Here we are. I don't think I can jump up that high. But I can't. I can't reach that. Maybe I can reach that. All right, we're gonna try for it. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on, big guy. You can get that. There we are. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh. That was not as exciting as I was hoping for. Okay. Action figure is straight across that direction. 
But I obviously cannot jump all the way over there from here. Oh, maybe this way. Can I make that jump? Ooh. Oh, yes, I did. Got another one. More of those guys come out. Oh, boy. Oh, wrong button. That's not what I wanted. Oh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> That's what you get, chump. My brand new over overstuffed uh, healing, and then he went and hit me right off the bat. Not cool. Okay. Oh, gotta want it. Oh, I gotta want it. Now, the question is, is it here? It's gotta be there. I gotta jump across there, don't I? That's gotta be what I gotta do. Ooh. Oh! Oh, yes! Oh, I got it! Oh! This is... Phobo guy? Phobo? Phobos? Phobos? Hmm. Man, that was a tricky one to get to. Although it looks like I could have just kind of parkoured my way up from there, couldn't I? Oh, there's a lever there. Can I... This was definitely not a... I mean, there, there was no way out this side, right? No. Can I get in between the pipes here? Hmm. Ugh. Well, I don't want to kill myself trying to get to that. My only guess is jumping from one of those over to there. Unless I can come up from... Oh, nope, there's no path under. I don't, I don't see any platform showing up over here. But, like, I don't know. Maybe I can get on that. But I, I don't know where I would go from there. I ain't chancing it. Sorry, guys. I don't want the classic map that bad. Maybe on my follow-up run. Okay. Uh, in fact, I should probably... Which is something a little better for close quarters here for a bit. Where's that platform? There it is. Oh, what kind of a jump? Uh, uh. Okay, this will be easier. Hopefully. At least that's what I'm saying to myself right now. Ooh, uh. Excuse me. Checkpoint reached. Oh, I'm so good. Oh. Hey. I'm gonna miss out on another one of you guys, aren't I? Oh, look at that. It's like a dead end. Oh, but it looks like there might be a... Hmm. Way to get there from a... Well, no, there's definitely no way to get there from here. I must have to come in from that other side somewhere. Any way to go up? Maybe. Just gonna. I don't know where I'm going. I may, I may be jumping around, acting like I know where I'm going. Ooh, this might actually work. But I don't know where I'm going. Man, there are a ton of drums. Yeah, I'm backing up. Because all those, if one of those go, they're all gonna go. I had a feeling. Oh, I'm already full on health. I'll leave those for now. Uh, excuse me? That's going to send me up, but I kind of don't want to go up. I want to go down.
Yeah, I want to go down, not up. Is there no way to... Can I shoot? Aww. There's no way to blow that up. Hmm. Well, bummer. These drones are becoming more and more difficult. Okay, looks like that's where we need to go. Let's check over here. Oh, this one's not working. Well, have we here? This isn't where I came up, is it? I don't remember. I think it is. Are these all blown up drums? Oh, I can turn that on and off. Where is that going? Okay, it's another way to go. Oh, does that mean I can turn this one off over here? Maybe there's a ah uh, ha ha. And a path opened up. Oh, can't go through right there. Alright, drone. You're mine. <laughs> ah, I found it. I'm so proud of that. Okay, which one of these do I want to go? Uh, energy efficient, lightweight, outer beam, reduced charge time. Hmm. That's a tough call. Moving faster. I think I think the charge time is the bigger deal. I don't I mean I move slow obviously. And you know, being able to have more bullets would be kind of nice and all, but I I think the charge time is the bigger deal to me. Yeah, we'll go that one. Yeah. That's for hiding in such a hard to reach spot. Uh. <laughs> test out my new my new attachment siege mode this modification adds an argon gas ionizer to the weapon when initiated the launch chamber is vacuum sealed as argon gas is ionized until it forms plasma when the argon has been fully ionized the chamber is opened and a plasma beam is ejected from the weapon due to the precise nature of the modifications operation safety valves prevent the weapon from discharging until the argon has been fully ionized the operator must also remain stationary during the charging due to the volatile nature of freeing electrons from the gas oh what upon successful release the plasma beam will penetrate multiple targets and produce a consecutive blast at the final point of impact Ooh. okay almost sounds worth it here it is. The beam now has a devastating area of effect around it. Is reduced. Oh, <laughs> the fact that I got to stand still makes me think I should grab this one first. Allows movement while you're using it. Okay, but we're going to go with this one because I want that. I want that blast. There we go. Look at that. You can see it like seal up. Yep, I can't move at the moment. Wow. All right, we're going we're going to have some fun with that here at some point. All right, drone. I'll leave you alone now. I'm so glad I figured that out. Okay. Oops. Oh. And now I just got to be able to get out of Oh, come on. Oh, this is stupid. I do feel like his jump is very puny. Even with the thrust. Come on. There we go. Yeah, Doom Slayer. Yeah, got it. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and turn this back on. Wee! Oh. I got lucky there. I almost feel like I could have hurt myself. Okay. Anything back this way? What is that over top of? Oh, some armor. I don't know. Do I want to? Do I want to chance that? 
Oh, I saw that heat. Thought it might have been dangerous. Oh, and I'm already maxed. Man, there's quite a bit of quite a bit of goodies in that little area. As long as you don't get tore up by that initial blast, you're good. All right. Thank you for those. What do we got here? Okay, left is going to lead me to a body. So I think I need to go this way first. This gives me three. I think I'll be able to get my next upgrade on that. On the one I was working on. Here we go. That's right. Thank you. Man, my character's doing good. Okay, and I saw we're not too far from the last action figure. Oh boy. Let's try it. Oh, I can't move. <laughs> I gotta know where I, I am before I start charging that puppy up. Oh! <laughs> My new favorite weapon for uh, the creatures that hold the shield. Oh! I hit him twice. I'm assuming I can't walk on that. Okay, two hits. Took him out. Oh, is it now? Boom! <laughs> that feels mean, don't it? To use it on such such little guys. Okay. Well, what do we got in there? finish picking up any kind of goodies we got out here before I go in that room. I'm worried I go in that room and it's going to start ending. Okay, go over here and to the left. And boom! Oh, geez, that, it did it blew up everything around it. <laughs> this bastard of that is overkill on such a high level. I got a feeling this game is going to, like, ruin me for most first-person shooters. After this, I'm going to be like, everything's so slow. <laughs> Found it! All right, what's this one called? Hello. There it is. Pink guy. You notice how, like, a lot of these spots where you find... One of the action figures is almost like, always like a dead body. Like maybe they were the one carrying it. Maybe that's what they're kind of getting at there. Okay, looks like this might lead to a uh, data data log we can read. Ba boom! Anybody else in here? I guess not. Oh, BFG two. Okay, the theoretical design for the BFG-9000 was first put forward by the R&D department in the Advanced Research Complex, and the concept was later given its own funding program. The BFG division was formed to develop a working design. Several prototype weapons have since been made. The prototypes never went into full production due to numerous testing accidents <laughs> and the deadly radiation spikes produced. Previous versions of the weapon had slightly different energy patterns to the current generation. Some released solitary argent spheres that unleash a deadly wave upon impact. Others form an argent laser that cuts through anything in its path. The current prototype, the BFG-9000, creates argent streams that seek out targets and boil them alive. He did say something about we'd find weapons over here that we could use, didn't he? I want my BFG. Where do I find my BFG? My my big friendly gun? Is that what that stands for? Something tells me it doesn't. I think I know what it's supposed to stand for. One big freaking gun. Probably not for the freaking. <laughs> if I had to guess. I'm glad they just call it the BFG though. Okay. 
What's that? We got a little health thing over there. Uh, looks like there might be another data entry available on this side. Was it here? What's in here? Did I go through this room? Oh. Oh, there's the gun. Sounds like radiation. Lockdown. Oh. Sorry, dude. Station locked. Do I need to unlock anything to be able to get to this thing? There's some really weird sounds in this room. Okay, that I think is the room I need to go into. Boom! They just explode. Anybody else? Thank you. Test fire. Stand here. I don't think so. Here it is. Oh, another entry on it already. Okay. Although recently superseded by the plasma rifle as the UAC. Oh, wait a second. There's no way that's. Here we go. Advocates. Witness the BFG 9000. What greater triumph for the glory of the Ascension could there be than an entirely new type of weapon, born not only of traditional UAC technology, but by your faith and dedication to the cause? This is what we strive for, an understanding beyond traditional science, unrestrained by the repressive thinking of dimensionally bound contemplation. Only through our use of SEFT can the power of such a mighty weapon be realized. Such a weapon requires not only science, but belief. While access to the BFG 9000 is strictly limited to the Tier 3 Advocates, you are encouraged to envision the day you too might get to see the magnificence of its design, and if you are luckier still, experience the invigorating touch of its majestic form of Argent Energy. I love the, the real religious vibe it's kind of giving these things. Even though it's a gun, they're like, you don't understand. This is an experience that goes beyond the physical. Can I test fire? Ooh. Can I get the gun out of there? Is there another thing I can do on this side? Let's just do the same thing. Oh, that's the laser version of it. Okay. Where am I supposed to be going? I thought this is where I was supposed to be going. Is that the gun there? Look kind of like it. Is there a way to unlock it? And take it? Hmm. Oh, maybe I need to get inside the center section first. Ah, there's my little... There's my little icon. Ripple scan failed. Access denied. Yellow security clearance required. <laughs> Ripple scan failed. Access denied. Yellow security clearance required. Yellow security clearance. Is there some body I can bring back here to... I don't remember seeing any yellow tags anywhere. Mm. Anything in here? It's weird, I'm... I'm kind of stuck at the moment. Okay, let's see if we can follow our little beacon up here at the top. It's leading me 170 this direction. Uh, I don't need to go up there, do I? Can I just punch the device? In fact, this is all like lit up and stuff. Makes me think I'm supposed to do something with it. Cybernetic augmentation. Cybernetic augmentation. 
Vega, can you get me in here, buddy? I'm very confused. Rebel scan failed. Access denied. Yellow security clearance required. Well, where do I get the yellow security clearance? I apologize, everybody. I am seriously stuck at the moment. And not sure what to do. I killed all the bad guys. Oh! <laughs> You're telling me this body laying here? I mean, I even looked right at it. It was like, oh, sorry for you, buddy. And no idea I need to pick him up. Okay, we figured it out. Smash! <laughs> oh, we got force shield. Expulsion? Activating laser security system. Uh. What? Oh. Oh crap. Oh, I touched it. <laughs> what do I do there? Okay. Biometric mismatch detected. Scanning. Unauthorized personnel confirmed. Expulsion to commence in five, four. Do I need to get on this thing? Two, one. I didn't exactly see where the lasers came down from. Activating laser security system. I hope this is safe. I almost survived that little deal right there. See, there ain't nothing here. Just put the force fields back down. We're all good. Oh. Do I need to go up somehow? How do I get inside of there? Are you done checking? Oh, it's just gonna keep going. Do I need to break this in some fashion? Must be something I gotta interact with. Whoop! Can I interact with anything? It stops at the top, right? Okay, so I'm safe here. Uh, what do I do? I can't grab a hold of anything. Is there something up above? Hmm. Can I get in through the top? I don't see anything to... Like, I don't see, like, things I need to break. This is so weird. I don't think I can jump through that. Well, that's close. 
know where to drop on that side. Oh, oh, that's close. Well, what do I do? Is there one side that's open, maybe? I don't think so. That one's not lit up. Maybe I do need to... Hmm. Break those? Break the jets? I think I gotta break something. Oh, there we go. I did manage to get one. You gotta shoot them on the inside. Wow, this is a... Uh... Okay, let's try this again. Boom. There we are. Whoa! <laughs> that did it. All right. Acquire the BFG. Oh boy. This thing is huge! Oh. <laughs> it's a weapon with massive power that is accessed by T. Use it to devastate your enemies. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Weapons. I mean, what are they going to tell us that we already know at this point? When correctly charged, ionized, and compressed, deadly packets of Argent energy can be released in a controlled manner at a velocity and potential energy quota far exceeding conventional weapons. The weaponization of the Argent energy led to the development and mass production of the plasma rifle, but the UAC realized they were capable of much more. The BFG-9000 is a cumulative of those efforts. Only one prototype of the final weapon exists, and it is housed deep within the ARC in the BFG division. This weapon delivers streams of supercharged Argent energy to multiple targets and is to some extent self-guided. Oh, the streams will seek any cache of Argent it can find, usually demons or human test subjects that have <laughs> had Argent beacons surgically implanted. Oh my goodness. When the streams find their target, they release all their stored energy in a fraction of a second, delivering an electrical shock that instantly boils the blood and fatty tissue of the recipient. Spontaneous explosions of the subject often follows. <laughs> I've got three shots. Oh, please tell me they're going to give me something to test this on right away. Checkpoint reached. Oh! That was pretty nice. Ooh, what is this? Please proceed to the Lazarus Elevator. See, is there anything in here? Ooh, we got some over here off to the right. Oh, can I not get in there? Nope, not yet, apparently. Oh! Ooh! They tried to get out of here. Reinitialize this. Oh, it turned green. Okay. Excuse me. There it is. Intimacy is best. Demons become more glory kill friendly due to a high damage resistance when staggered. I gotta use the pistol. I ain't used this thing in like forever. Use the pistol to weaken and then glory kill eight imps. All right. Let's get intimate with some imps. Okay. Ooh. Come on, get weak. There we are. Oh, there we go. There's another. There we go. Cutting it close. Woo. Oh. There we go. Come on, one more. 
Oh, that was so close. My health was almost gone. Oh, we pulled it off. Okay, we're... Oh yeah, I'll just grab this just to get off that. Okay, anything else I need to do? I don't think there is. We are probably just about to leave this area. And we got the BFG, which I am totally gonna be trying to use. Oh, that's locked. Uh, in the next episode. Sure, we had a little blast of it there. We didn't really get to see it in action. I'm excited to see what this sucker is like, but we're gonna have to wait until the next episode. Until next time, continue to be safe out there, buddy. I'll see you on the next one.